Okay, it is Thursday, and it is time to be judgy. It's time for Judge Your Friends. We are live right now on our uh, on our streaming platforms. We are on Facebook Live, and we are also on uh, you, our YouTube channel. So make sure you check it out, Mercedes in the Morning. Here's how it works. We have got this deck of cards, and we are going to randomly select three of them and see if you believe the person has done whatever they're being accused of. Are they guilty or are they not guilty? Okay, we got the gavel and everything. So this week, I believe it is my turn to go first. So you guys get to be judgy with me here. It's a very revealing segment, too. We learn a lot about each other. Okay, we're all over the place here. All right. Um, there's Now there's two scenarios on each card. And... Uh, Ooh, I, well, I think I, I think the first one will be good for me. This is kind of funny. All right. Will the defendant please rise? <clears throat> you are being accused of cutting your own bangs. Oh. Are you guilty or are you not guilty? JC, what do you think? Let me see. Hold on a second. Let me go back to this classic line here. <laughs> oh, my god! I knew you were going to play this as soon I, as I saw I it. I got to go with this classic line here from many, many, many years ago. Steph, we changed the date. <laughs> we got to change. It's, it, it's so old. It's expired. The clip is expired. So we're going to change the date because before I present my case, I think everyone needs to hear this. Let's hear it. Good? Good now. Don't do bangs. You said that many, many moons ago. Very passionate. You can hear it in your voice. Don't do bangs. <sighs> There's a reason for that. Obviously, I think at some point you got bangs for whatever decision to get bangs and you regretted it. And that's why you have that little line of yours from, from a long time ago. <laughs> but did you ever give them to yourself? That's the question. I definitely think you had bangs. I think you had them done professionally. I don't think you've ever... No, did you tell a story of cutting her hair once when she was a little kid? Yes, that's why. Yeah. Uh, but I'll let you, I'll, I don't want to influence you on it. No, anything. I'm thinking of that. I think you did it as a little kid. I'm going to say yes as a little kid. As okay. a little kid, she gave guilty. her back. Guilty. 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 I had to talk to one out. All right. Yep. All right. Steph, the next juror here. Do you think I am guilty or not guilty of cutting my own bangs? This line where she says, this, this infamous one. Don't do bangs is because she herself has witnessed it and she's given advice to all of us that says don't do bangs it's because she cut her own bangs maybe as a kid maybe as an adult whichever i know that there's some type of truth to this so i'm gonna stick with guilty 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 guilty, guilty. all right defendant please rise you have been accused of cutting your own bangs are you guilty or are you not guilty? <sighs> you know, I don't like bangs because I don't like when they grow out. That's why I said don't do bangs. However, there's always a little truth to warning people. And it's usually because you did the same thing and you want to warn them not to do it. So the answer is I am guilty. Oh. <laughs> I have cut my own bangs. Wow. So was it as a kid? We had that right? No, I was actually, I'd say I was in my late teens, maybe early 20s, and I had gotten them cut professionally, and they looked great. They were fine. But then they started growing out, like I said, and I was like, I'll just snip, 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 snip just to get them looking good again. Well, they were like sideways and down, and then I tried to correct it, and I went sideways and up, and it was just a disaster where I had to go back into her and have her try to fix them. But then by that point, I looked like Dumb and Dumber where they were like halfway <laughs> up my forehead. It Jim was Carrey. terrible. It was terrible. Oh, so boy. I am oh. guilty. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I got to leave it to the pros, Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. JC, you are next. <sighs> Please rise. You are being accused. Oh, boy. I, I think I know the first one. So we're going to go with number two. Okay. Um, You are being accused of... <laughs> Getting excited during a medical exam. <laughs> they use the word aroused. So, 
<laughs> Either way, uh, you're being accused of getting excited during a medical exam. Oh, boy. <laughs> are you guilty or are you not guilty? <laughs> Steph. <laughs> oh no! Can I uh, take myself off the witness stand, Your Honor? I don't want to. I don't want to say anything about this. You don't want to be on the jury. I don't want to be on the jury. I. I just. She wants to be dismissed. Can you please dismiss me from the jury? <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't want to say guilty. I don't. I'm just gonna say not guilty because I don't want to. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. You don't want to go through it. I want to go. I'm scared. Well, don't worry, because I will. <laughs> I feel like, and I don't have confirmation on this, but I feel like you did go to get some sort of an exam. And I, I want to say it was kind of for that area, like you were having some issues. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that maybe like the nurse had to uh, quote unquote prep you, like get you ready for your exam from the doctor or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then the... You got a little excited because it wasn't because of the person itself, but like whenever, you know, people will touch you in certain ways, you, it just involuntary reaction. I apologize. Right? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh I don't God. know why this is happening. <laughs> this never has happened before. <laughs> so I'm oh, going to say he is guilty. Oh. I think he is guilty oh, on my that. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Oh, JC, you've been in the hot seat all week. I'm so I, sorry. I know. Oh, this is too much fun, though. Too much fun. So, what's the question again, Mercedes? JC, please rise. Yeah, what we'll eat? <laughs> okay, settle down, though. <laughs> you are being accused of getting aroused during a medical exam. Um, when I first moved to Washington, D.C., I had a lot of pain in that area. It was very, I couldn't sleep. It was agonizing. And so, I was going to see a doctor multiple times, and they kept like, checking out you know medical your testicles and your a whole thing prostate exam like all this stuff trying to figure out what was going on with me down there uh and that was my biggest fear of that happening but it never did happen oh you're uh, not guilty not guilty i would walk in they were like drop your pants i'm like oh no no don't 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 you just i was i don't know why i was so worried that, that would happen and thank god it never did i know oh. there were doctors and everything but Oh, gosh. Yeah, and maybe, just, maybe I think I remember you saying that you were worried about it. Yeah, I was I just so worried about it. it. And the issue was a stress. It was like causing a pain like down in my sciatica or something. I don't wow. know. It was, was stress-induced um, agony. Oh, man. Okay, so thank goodness for that. Yeah, I know. All that for nothing. Okay. Whew. Steph, you're up. Please, please rise. Uh, hmm. Okay, we'll go with the first one on this one. You are being accused... If I've done this one before, please tell me and I'll do the other one. But you are being accused of stealing something worth more than twenty dollars. Did we do this one? We, we did a, something we had similar. A one yeah, there, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It. Then I'll do the other one. You are being accused of ending a relationship with a text. Ending a relationship with a text. Are you guilty or are you not guilty? I'll go first. Um Hmm. I feel like Steph is a pretty straightforward person. And while she doesn't love confrontation, I don't think she's afraid of confrontation. So I will say you are not guilty on this. I think if a relationship is going south, you're just going to say, hey, this is not working out. It's not you, it's me, blah, 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 and just move her on and not let them, you know, not ghost them, not have them get a text saying it's over. I th I say not guilty. I don't think Steph has ever ended a relationship with a text. That's what do good. you think? Good, good, good. When did you and James start dating? 2014. 2014. Coming up on your 10-year anniversary yes, next year. Yes, we are. That's exciting. Go back to 2014. And the guy prior, how long did you date, date for? Five years. Five years. So that started in 2009 then? Yes. Um, then it could be a friend, like a relationship. I'm going to say Steph is definitely 100% not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Definitely not with a boyfriend, maybe a friend. Still, no. She was, She's uh, too kind to do it via text. She would do it, um, she would do it in person. Okay. Let's find out. Steph. You're being accused of ending a relationship with a text. Are you guilty or are you not guilty? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of a situation, but I didn't text them. I just ghosted them. So, uh, but I wasn't really dating him. 
So other than that scenario, I'm not guilty. Not, not guilty. guilty. Yeah. I'm not guilty. Ghosting is not texting. Yeah. So yeah. you're not guilty as yeah. far as we're concerned. I dated I dated him and we he was off and on, up and down, kind of like feeling me, kind of not. And then he was like texting me and then he would text me and then I'm just like, I just he, he got the clue that I didn't want to be with him anymore because I wasn't texting him back. Oh, But I wasn't wow. like, hey, it's over. <laughs> he got the clue though. <laughs> he, he, he kind of went his separate ways, but it wasn't on text, so no, you are good to no. go. So there you go. We just found out this morning that Steph has never ruined a relation or broken up with someone via text. I have cut my own bangs. And JC, I told you, you don't have to rise anymore. (laughs) (laughs) JC has never gotten aroused in front or during a doctor's exam. So there you go. Dentist exam, different story. Oh, yeah. Oh, we didn't put that in there. Why do I have to take my pants off for this dentist exam? (laughs) That was when I had the prostate exam. I'm like, Doc, what are you doing? Okay. (laughs)